So Rick's calling the police. He knows something isn't kosher. And plan A's out the window. Ambulance from St. Luke's has left the building. Do we have a plan B? Well, when the police arrive, we can say that he hasn't come to. That won't hold them for long. It'll give us a little bit of time. We'll think of something. How's he doing? Um, pulse 110, BP 80. I've, uh, I've noticed some bruising on his abdomen and on his arms. Okay. Talk to us about anything. You never talked to us about what was happening. Look, I did what I did, that's it. Maybe he changes businesses as often as you do without there being a problem. I still don't get it, though. I was desperate to keep your mum happy. Keep the cash coming in. When was the last time you spoke to her? Forever ago. I'm going to ring her and tell her. Don't. Why not? What would I say to her? It's not as if I'm trying to blame anyone. I was just trying to do my best for all of you. You are the master of having a conversation without actually saying anything. Yeah, but there's nothing else to say. I'm so proud of you. And I'm proud that you didn't go the way of your sister. Then tell me what happened to you. I was beaten up. And stabbed? Mm-hmm. Scissors. It happened in prison? Well, they saw an easy target and they went for it. So I absconded. I mean, at first it was nothing. They were just shoving me in the back, tripping me up, that sort of thing, and... It got worse. Did you report it? They weren't interested. White-collar crime, you see. We're about half a rung above paedophiles. I'm not going back there, Maddie. Maddie. Police are on their way. We've got to help them get him out of here. It's not going to happen. You can't go back. The injuries happened to him inside. In prison? I'll get rid of them somehow. Oh, look at those bruises. Yeah. She's a great girl. She did me a big favor once. I think she did you a favor. Ouch. She's got a twin sister, did you know? Yeah, Hannah. She went off the rails a bit. Ended up with this bloke who abused her. So Maddie, and don't tell her I told you this, by the way. Maddie broke into the hospital pharmacy, planted a load of drugs in his flat, and he got six years for drug dealing. Not in the same prison as you, I presume. <laughs> No. No, she's like no one else you'll ever meet. Look after her for me, will you? They're here, in the waiting room. They won't move. I'm sorry, Dad. I can't put him off any longer. He's in the States for me. He can't go back inside. Maddie, what do you expect me to do? There must be another option, another plan. There isn't. I don't want to talk to the man with no name. I, uh... I... I'll show you. She'd said goodbye. Well, I don't think it was because he didn't want to. Hey, you never told me what he went down for. Oh, um... Fraud, tax evasion, BAT fiddling. Hmm. Half of it was money he was cheating out of the government. <laughs> you get longer for that than killing someone these days. 
What do you think he'll do next? I don't know. But, um, thank you. <laughs> he didn't need to. Let's not go there. I still owe you big time. <laughs> that was ages ago. Nonetheless, bailing out an inebriated general surgeon goes well above and beyond the call of duty. I would not even have a career if you hadn't saved me. I didn't save you. <laughs> it's out of my skull. <laughs> I really think if you have to put a hand over one eye to focus, you should put the scalpel down, shouldn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy days. <laughs> Who was it you stood up? Melissa. The second. Mm. You were in a right state. So you've got some pattern with you, is it? And ask them to marry you, jilt them, and then get wasted? Nah, that was a one-off. Well, they're getting wasted was, anyway. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get reported. That anaesthetist, she must have known. Yeah, yeah, she did. Why didn't she say anything? Because I promised to go out with her. She was a lesbian? Didn't you know? I wouldn't have spent all that time trying to chat her up <laughs> if I'd known what happened. When I went out with her. You should have told me. I'd come and watched. Well, it was just a drink. And was she satisfied with that? Well, that and a good night kiss. No! <laughs> 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 And where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere. No. I was just thinking. It's a cold night to be out there by yourself. 